The second phase of the anti-radicalization program saw six females and 13 males graduate. The youth were issued with, among others, motorcycles, handcarts, wheelbarrows, cooking stoves and refrigerators to engage in meaningful employment. Interior PS Karanja Kibicho maintained the government's commitment to fighting radicalization. He said the government will continue to monitor their progress, challenging other youth who may have joined extremist groups to surrender themselves and undergo the training. We have witnessed the handing over of a reintegration kit for 19 returnees uh, who have undergone a uh, very intensive uh, training of radicalization. These are among uh, a group of uh, about a thousand uh, Kenyans who responded to the amnesty call. Separately, university students have been challenged to remain patriotic and desist from joining extremist groupings. The director of National Counterterrorism Center, Ambassador Martin Kimani, speaking at a student leader's sensitization workshop on counter-violent extremism and anti-radicalization, says the government has partnered with civil societies to tackle the challenge of terrorism in the education sector. That I'll just leave that with you. Um, but to me, it cuts to the heart of what you personally have to decide and understand. Uh, the historical context in which you find yourselves in Kenya, the dynamics and forces that are swirling around our people, around you, and what role you play to navigate through this environment. And of course, the environment we're speaking of here today is this thing we're calling mm. radicalization. Uh, what you want to achieve uh, through this program is basically public participation efforts towards the war on radicalization. We are talking about countering violent extremism and from the experiences that we've had as a country it is a war that indeed the government alone cannot be the one to be left with fighting the terrorists because we know we notice that um, there are two elements here. One is the the hard the, the hardware which is basically the the um, framework that the terrorist groups have put in, in place to be able to engage with the public, which means bombing and, and, and the fights. The second element is uh, what we are calling the software, which therefore engages with values, the mindset of young people, the attitude of young people even towards our country as a Kenya. So basically these are... Uh, actually this meeting is of essence to the, to the whole country because as we know, terrorism is a global phenomenon. And when young people convene in such a forum to discuss about terrorism, it is of essence to the nation because... Meanwhile, a section of members of Supreme Council of Sufism, led by Chairperson Sheikh Adan, have dismissed claims of discrimination in government against those who subscribe to the Islamic faith. Mikakati tulionayo ni kusensitize na kuwailimisha watu na kuwafanya watu watambuwa ya kuwa Hilo jambo si dini. Dini inapinga misingi ya kutumia mabavu na kutumia violence.